Iglesia Sangre de Cristo. Check it out. It means the blood of Christ Church. Hanging out here in Owaka, sipping on some coffee, getting some sunshine, looking at the beautiful people. One of my favorite things to do when I travel, go to new places, is just people watch. I like to people watch. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, guys, please follow me on Instagram. I post new pictures every single day of my travels here in Mexico. Um, you guys can DM me as well, send me some video ideas, also some fan questions for my talk show, The Beehole. You guys can follow me at Brayton Howard, that'll be in the description box below and the comment section. I digress. Got an uh, email from a gentleman named Jack Captain, which sounds like a fake name to be honest. That also sounds like it could be a fucking whiskey name, right? Jack, Jack Captain Whiskey? Or a porn star name for sure, dude. Good porn star name. Title of the email, Police Clearance Certificate to Work in Cambodia. Now, based on the title of the email, I'm assuming that you committed crimes in Ireland or somewhere else. Because um, in the email, he said he's from Ireland. Um, and a lot of people that are criminals decide to go to Cambodia because they have a pretty lax visa policy. They're pretty, you know, it's not like going to Vietnam or Japan or Korea where most likely they will want to do a background check. So fix my hair here uh, he says hi Howard I'm a big fan of your videos I'm from Ireland and will be moving to Cambodia to teach English next month my question is do schools ask you to show a police certificate to prove you have no criminal record uh, no they don't as far as I know now in Thailand and other countries like that I believe they do um, for the most part in Cambodia, remember, like I said, for the most part, they don't. I only applied at two schools. Well, actually, no. Maybe maybe like three or four. Um, and I only worked at two schools. I worked at Royal Intercon, Royal Intercon School, something like that. No big deal. I just got the job. I also worked at Belty International School. No big deal. Just got the job. But there are other, other schools. There are other schools. Don't these people say I'm trying to make a video? They they should understand that I'm a fucking famous YouTuber. I'm a super famous YouTuber that has millions of subscribers. They makes all this fucking money. They should know to have a little bit of fucking respect for me. Uh, but there are <laughs> there are schools in Cambodia that most likely will do a background check. Man, it just totally depends on what level of school. Um, some of them will need a high school transcript. I I know that um, I needed to bring my high school transcripts with me. Um, because they said, the, the the schools that I worked at said that they would need them, but once they saw me and I did the interview, they never asked for them. I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm a native speaker. I don't think it's because I'm white necessarily, but I think it's because I'm a native speaker and I'm like, and I'm, and I'm presentable and I'm well-spoken when I want to be, when I want to be, just to be clear. Um, so if you are going to move to Cambodia to, uh, to teach English, I would take a copy of your birth certificate. If you had your last name changed, like I, I, I actually had my last name changed when I was eight. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but I wasn't born as a Howard. All right, I was born as something else, which I will not mention as a secret. I took that with me just to, you know, just uh, as insurance. Um, it's good to take your high school transcripts. It's good to take. Um, it, it might be good to take a background check too because I don't know how easy it, 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 it would be if you're in Cambodia to get a police certificate. With that being said, the fact that you sent me an email asking me if you need that, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that you have a criminal background. I don't give a fuck personally, but if you're going to Cambodia, I don't think it's a big deal. It depends on what it was. Like I said, it's been a couple years since I've lived in Cambodia and it's been well over three three and a half years since I've even taught English there so things might have changed I know that now you need a work permit so they kind of tighten things up in Cambodia man so there's a good chance you might need it I would just get it I would just get it and take it with you obviously if it's like a violent crime like rape robbery assault that might fuck up your chances of getting a job to be quite honest if it's something like if it's something minor like petty theft or maybe even a, like a minor drug charge I don't know dude um, but I know for sure that in like Japan, Korea, all that type of stuff, you're probably, probably not going to have the best of luck, man. 
that being said, don't let that discourage you. Don't let that discourage you, man. It depends on how long ago your charges were, and like I said, to the extent of which they were, and, and to the, um, to the, uh, I guess intensity and all that type of stuff. So hey man, thanks for the email guys. I'm going to continue strolling around Awaka. I got new videos coming out. Um, I don't have the best internet reception here, so I might be kind of slow on the video output. It's not that I'm not making them, it's, it's just that it, it takes me literally over 24 hours to upload one fucking video here. So keep that in mind. Like I said guys, please follow me on Instagram, DM me for video ideas. You want to say what's up or whatever. I'm on Instagram at Brayton Howard, and if you guys would like to shoot me an email, a fan question to be right on the b-hole, a no joke Howard video, you want to say what's up, you want to say that you think I'm sexy, or you want to say that you think I'm an asshole, email me guys, no joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. All that will be in, in the description box below, and uh, you can all go fuck yourself. Peace.